Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Eileen Hernandez, Communications Coordinator. Question. What's on your bucket list? I was eager to cross off several items on mine the month before last, like parasailing, snorkeling, and ziplining in a tropical forest. So I asked my roommate son, Jaden, who's 13 years old, what were some of his things on his bucket list? I encouraged him to dream big. And then after a brief silence, his response was, hug a sloth. Hug a sloth, I said? Well, okay. So his mom and I secretly planned a surprise visit on Memorial Day to out of Africa Zoo in Camp Verde for a special encounter with Bart, the two-toed sloth. We left about 7.30 a.m. It was a two-hour drive up the mountain when my car began to overheat and spew coolant. So I pulled over and we waited. We added water and tried again. The gauge quickly rose to hot, so we pulled over again. It appeared a hose was dangling that I didn't remember before, but I had no idea where it went. It wasn't too long before a first responder from the Army stopped to offer assistance. He said, I'm used to saving lives, not cars, but I'll try. He added another gallon of water and connected two hoses, but didn't quite have the tools to tighten it. Then a guy pulled up in a white truck from the highway roadside motor assistance. He had the tools and we were on our way. So we thought, but we didn't make it more than a couple of miles and only 15 minutes from our destination when smoke began coming out from under the hood again. We pulled over and phoned roadside assistance to come with a tow truck. We were towed into town to the mechanic shop only to find out that they were closed for the holiday. It was now 12 o'clock and we were determined to make it to the zoo with our non-refundable tickets. So we asked the driver if he could tow us to the zoo? He probably thought we were crazy. <laughs> we decided to make the most of the time we had, the time that we had left and figure out the rest later on. And we had a great time at the zoo. And the highlight for all of us was that Jaden got to spend some time with Bart the sloth. It was fun to watch Jaden's excitement and observe the moments of movements of this creature that really does move in slow motion. We stayed until closing and then drove the car about a mile to the nearest station. No overheating yet. A woman pulled up next to us and suggested checking the oil. It was low and she even gave us some money to purchase some. I added two cords, some antifreeze, and we sailed on our way back downhill on a hope and a prayer that we would make it. Thank you, Jesus. We made it back to the valley. It's easy to see that the miracle was in making it home, but wait, let's backtrack for a second. What about the first responder who stopped to help? Or the highway motor assistants that showed up with tools? Or the tow truck driver that went out of his way to drop us off at the zoo? or the woman who suggested to check the oil? Or what about the fabulous weather and the beautiful day or the great time that we had with the sloth experience? You see, God was working in those moments too. What happens when we stop looking for God in those little moments and acts? What happens when we forget to thank God for the miraculous and the seemingly mundane? Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him and have been called, in, called according to his purpose. God has a history of using small things to accomplish big things and to change lives. He said that the faith of a mustard seed could move mountains. But do we recognize it when God is working in the little things? If you don't believe in miracles, you're not paying attention. Slow down, look around. 
Or maybe you are someone's miracle waiting to happen. Be aware of opportunities that present themselves. You may be the one who offers help, advice, tools, or rides. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, in the midst of all our received blessings, we failed to recognize your presence in our lives and to trust you always. Your mercies are new every morning. They are never based on how good we are, but only on your steadfast character. Each day is a gift. Help us to see you are working in all things, not just the big momentous things, but in the little things too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. If you've been blessed by these messages, be sure to like, click, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, God bless.